Hi, my name is Harold. I am a daily writer, a silent wolf. That means I stand on the sidelines and do nothing but watch. I listen, I study, and then we get to activate. I call it the daily mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. Yes, it's my morning writing. As a receiver of thoughts and ideas, we as people tend to throw it to the side and deal with it later. When a subject arrives inside of me, I know it's time to dig in. It's still keeping a journal. By doing the research, the picture becomes clearer. This is The Daily Mess. Observation number 15. Bridging the gap. Have you heard that before? Bridging the gap. To create things that require a connection, physically and metaphorically. A mentorship program bridges the gap. When you visit a museum, you in fact are bridging the gap between the past and the present. You can actually bridge the gap between classical music and jazz. Yet, we aren't doing enough to bridge the gap between rich and poor people. Another term used is closing the gap, which in my heart sounds more like a negative than a positive, because to close something means, oh, you might have to get rid of something. For there to be business success, the experts say there must be multiple layers of bridging the gap. Reaching success and wealth requires goals being met. When choosing each goal, leaders must bridge the gap to make a connection in a logical way, to have qualities of two different things, to fill in the space between the two things. Grocery stores and other retail outlets need to bridge the gap when it comes to theft. Billions of dollars are lost each year, and employee morale continues to reach dangerous tumbles. The gap is right there in front of us. Sadly, in the world of retail, the only answer is, let the takers be stealers. Bridging the gap. Hey, coming up next, injuries at the workplace are on the increase. We all think that we're protected by this thing called workman's comp. That might not be true, but we're going to take a deeper look into what it is and why it is taking so long to get you help. Welcome back to the Daily Mess. Observation number 16. Workplace injuries are on the increase, especially if you're a construction worker, where those who are hardworking and dedicated are actually dying. So many of us think that we are protected with this thing called workman's comp. There are so many reasons why it takes so long to help the injured get healed. Medical appointments are a leading cause. Some doctors have a 30-day waiting list. If the report is disputed, now you have to wait in a trial line. Another time thief is the insurance adjuster. They have every right to question the doctor. Other reasons why your workman's comp is caught up in a rat's trap, settlement negotiations. Again, the insurance company is in control of the speed. Then there's the infamous appeal. That can take months, even years. Now, is there an answer for those who have been injured? They say to contact a workers' compensation attorney. Okay, here's what I want you to do. Pull the lens back, and I'll say it one more time. They say to contact a workers' compensation attorney. Yeah, get in another long line. Research shows that most cases are worked out in 12 to 18 months which seems bigger than the pain itself. I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.